Mar Gregorios Abdel Jalil Bawa died the 27th of April 1681 was a Syriac Orthodox bishop of Jerusalem from 1664 until his death in 1681. He is chiefly remembered for his 1665 mission to India, in which he re-established ties between the Malankara Church and the Syriac Orthodox Church. He is venerated as a saint by his church. Abdel Jalil was born in Mosul, Iraq. In 1654 he was ordained Metropolitan Bishop for the Amid Diocese in Turkey by the Patriarch Mar Ignatius Shemin. In 1664, he was elevated as the Metropolitan of Jerusalem with the title Mor Gregorios. He travelled to India in 1665 to the ordination of Mar Toma I, Archdeacon of the Syriac Christian Community. He was the delegate of Mafriana, Catholicate of Syriac Orthodox Church to Kerala Syrian Christians. He died in India in 1681, and his remains are interred in the St. Thomas Church at North Perivar. On April 4, 2000, Patriarch Ignatius Zaka I declared Mar Gregorios Abdel Jalil a saint. <laughs> <laughs> Mission in India Thomas Christians are popularly and traditionally called as Syriac Christians, a term associated with their use of liturgical rites of Syriac Christianity. The name Syriac came to refer to those Christians that were using various Syriac rites at the very beginning of Christianity. The Syrian Christian label was also attached to the churches in Syria, which was submitted to the ecclesiastical authority of the Church of Antioch in the ancient capital of Roman Syria. It was referred to as the Syrian Church in the Epistle of St. Ignatius the third Patriarch of Antioch, to the Romans in AD 107. The St. Thomas Christians were in communion with the Church of the East until their encounter with the Portuguese in 1599. Thereafter the Christians of St. Thomas had been influenced by many belief streams at different points of time. These influences have later resulted in serious rifts and in the breaking down of the monolithic apostolic church to different fragments under different faith stream. They were organized as a church in the 8th century, served by foreign bishops and with a hereditary local chief called Arcadiocon or Archdeacon. In the 16th century the overtures of the Portuguese Pedrodo to bring the St. Thomas Christians into the Catholic Church led to the first of several rifts in the community and the establishment of Roman Catholic and Malankara Church factions. Since that time further splits have occurred, and the St. Thomas Christians are now divided into several Eastern Catholic, Oriental Orthodox, and independent bodies, each with their own liturgies and traditions. After the Kunin Cross Oath incident, Archdeacon Thomas was ordained as bishop by the laying on of hands by twelve priests. This was considered necessary in view of the extraordinary circumstances. Appeals were sent to various Eastern Christian centers and Mor Gregorios Abdul Jalil Bawa of Jerusalem was the first to respond. Mor Gregorios reached Panani, then an important port on the southwestern coast of India, in 1665. The Travancore State Manual Volume 2 page 187, records the arrival of Mor Gregorios as follows. Two years afterwards, in 1665, the position of the Archdeacon Thomas altered by the arrival on this coast of a bishop named Gregory, Patriarch of Jerusalem sent by the Jacobite Patriarch of Antioch Ignatius XXIII the quarter whence had come Ahathala, thirteen years previously. Knowing the prevailing political climate, he travelled further south by land in disguise until he came across some Syriac Rite Christians from the North Perivar Church. He revealed his identity showing them the Saint Hathakon from the Patriarch of Antioch. They led him to their church and sent word to others. The Archdeacon and many people rushed to the place to welcome the Bawa. Soon after, Mor Gregorios canonically ordained the archdeacon as Metropolitan Mar Toma I. Together, they traveled to various churches affirming the Orthodox faith and traditions. In 1670 March Gregorios and Mar Toma I. Together ordained Mar Toma II as the second Malankara Metropolitan. An important encyclical by Mor Gregorios dated 5th Cumbam 1668 gives us a record of the Malankara Church during the period. Referring to the Synod of Diamper, it says. Most of the early records on the faith and history of the Malankara Church prior to the arrival of Portuguese were destroyed in the aftermaths of the Synod of Diamper. They did this in order to establish a new chapter in Malankara. The ultimate aim of the Synod was to transform the Syriac Rite Christians into the Roman Catholic fold by use of force and in this process, they managed to destroy all the earlier records. 
The support of Portuguese military and the local kings made their task much easier. Gregorios died on the 27th of April 1681, M.E. 857, Medem 14, Friday. It is said that he knew beforehand the exact hour of his demise. In accordance with his instructions, he was dressed in the pontifical habits with cross and staff in hand and taken to the church seated in a chair. A large number of people gathered at the church and, as he died, it was reported that the people witnessed a bright glow inside and outside the church and several other miraculous signs. His mortal remains were interred in the Heikola of the St. Thomas Church at North Paravar which has since become a pilgrimage center. On April 4, 2000, Patriarch Ignatius Zaka I of the Syriac Orthodox Church declared Gregorios Abdel Jalil a saint. On 7 February 2006, the Patriarch issued a decree authorizing the recital of the name of Mor Gregorios Abdel Jalil in the 5th Tubden diptych. Topic. Relics Topic. The relics of Mor Gregorios is preserved at St. Thomas Church, North Paravar which include his vestments, a golden cross, a golden chalice, patent set and an arulica worn by Mor Gregorios. The holy arulica has twelve partitions of which eleven contain the relics of saints and the twelfth partition in the middle contains a piece of the cross on which Christ was crucified. The chalice and platen are still used in the Holy Kurbana celebrated on the Feast of Mor Gregorios. The relics are ceremoniously taken out and exhibited for public veneration on the feast day. <laughs> feast The Perunal or Dukrono of Mor Gregorios Bava is celebrated for four days starting from 24 April every year and culminating on 27. During these days, the North Paravar is declared as a festival area by the Kerala government considering the large flow of pilgrims. Thousands of pilgrims from different parts of Kerala, mostly from the northern part of Malankara, travel by foot covering many miles to reach the tomb every year. The Feast of Mor Gregorios Abdul Jalil is also celebrated at Alangikal Pali in Niranam on 28 April. References Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Patriarchal encyclical canonizing Mor Gregorios as a saint. Biography of Mor Gregorios Abdul Jalil Bawa. A brief history of Christianity in Kerala. Video of the 325th Perunal of Saint Abdul Jalil Mor Gregorius at N. Paravore Church.